Do you want to know how to make the perfect Blackstone steak? Well, let me show you how. Today we'll use a few certified Angus beef strip steaks, but you could use your favorite cut to throw on the grill. If you want the best steak coming off of your Blackstone, you'll have to start with certified Angus beef because if it's not certified, it's not the best. The first step is to pat the steaks dry. Any surface moisture will steam when they hit the griddle and prevent nice browning. Using a little oil on the surface will help to instigate the browning as well. You don't need to drown the steak in oil, just a light coating to help that browning. Season with some cracked pepper and coarse salt. You could add any seasoning you like as well, but we're just gonna stick to the basics. Repeat this process on the second side. I forgot to add the oil before the seasonings here, but that's okay. We just wanna make sure there's a little on the surface to get it searing quickly. Add a thin layer of oil to the Blackstone and let it get smoking hot. We're putting these strip steaks on the griddle over high heat, which is crucial to this method of cooking, so make sure to let it preheat properly. The griddle should be as hot as it gets when those steaks go on. You should definitely hear that sizzle. Laying them directly over the burner will give you the maximum amount of heat and which will result in the best sear. The flipping process is pretty straightforward. Flip every minute to cook them evenly and build a nice crust. I've melted a little butter for basting the steaks as they cook. This isn't necessary, but it helps to reinforce that crust. Now just keep flipping every minute and baste in between flips. This will gradually bring the internal temperature of the steak up while building a crust. They will cook nice and evenly because you're giving the surface a break from the direct heat every time you flip. Hit it with a little more butter and flip again. With this Blackstone, I've got four burners. There's two here and two here. So I like to lay the steaks just over each burner that way they're getting the maximum amount of sear because they're all over the direct heat. Don't forget to subscribe. You can see that we're really starting to develop a nice crust now, and that butter helps develop that browning. For those who are appalled by the constant flipping, stick with me here. This technique will result in a beautifully cooked steak. Now that we're starting to get that good sear, it's time to hit the sides to make sure they're browned all the way around. You can use the sides of the Blackstone to stand the steaks up against. Sear the fat side first to render some of that fat out and use it to sear the other sides of the steak. If you're having trouble keeping them vertical, you can use a metal spatula to help keep them upright. Once all the sides have a nice sear, go back onto the griddle and keep flipping every minute. You can really start to see that beautiful sear. It's been said to flip your steak only once, but as you can see, a good crust will develop as long as you're using a good high heat. Really? Look how nice that's a brownie. As the surface dries, the fat renders and helps to create that Maillard reaction. The butter basting doesn't hurt either. The steak is starting to firm up a bit and the sear is developing nicely. So I'll go in with the thermometer to see where we're at on the temperature. The steak is hitting around 115 degrees internally, so I'm gonna pull them off the griddle. Cooking on a high heat like this means there will be a good amount of carryover cooking. So I like to pull them about 10 degrees before my final target temperature. Now when we pull them to rest, I like to make sure the side of the steak that was directly on the griddle is now facing up. This keeps the steak from overcooking while it rests and trapping steam between the steak and the cutting board. Look how nicely that steak is done. Beautiful crust and a perfectly cooked interior. Constantly flipping seems like a little extra work, but these steaks will cook super quickly and give you plenty of time to hang out with your friends. I like to hit mine with a little finishing salt before digging in. Mm. That's perfect. Now that's how you cook a perfect steak on the Blackstone.